Hey guys, I'm Preston Williams and thank you for tuning back in. Today I want to talk about three things you should consider when buying a home. I need a house in the hills, they come with a deck and a grill. So all of my listen, we said we've been cooking up, cooking up, cooking for real. I gotta get back to the real, we gotta get back to the field. The show my people is looking up, looking up, looking up, looking up still. Said I need a house in the hills, they come with a deck. Now, as we get started, be sure to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and hit the little bell to know when a new video drops. But let's get started. Number one, your future needs for space. Often as we buy a house, we gravitate towards what we want now and what our needs are right now. And we don't often think about how our needs may change over time. What will our needs be five years on, the, on down the line? What would our needs be in 10 years on down the line? You'll want to think about if your household is growing or shrinking. Do you have plans to add in a new little one in the family? Is there a possibility that your parents will need to come live with you as, as they get older? This could mean that you need more space than you need right now in order to give your family room to grow and accommodate new members on down the line. On the other side of things, you'll want to think about if your kids are just a year off of going to college and moving out of the house, meaning it's just you and your spouse left. If that's the case, instead of a five bedroom house, you may only need a three or a four bedroom. Number two, your commute to work. If you're a person who hates to drive, and there's a lot of us out there, or like you live in a, a area, a city that has high traffic, this could be a big one to you. It's important to think about how your daily drive to and from work will be and to and from the kids' school or even the grocery store. I would suggest to go to that part of town that you're interested in one morning and make the drive to work or get off work and drive to that part of town. That'll give you a mind of how far the drive is in real time. It's one thing to get on Google or MapQuest and type in the locations and get a time, but making that actual drive can be a bit different. And number three, the full cost of buying a home. While the mortgage payment is the main bulk of the payments every month you have to make when owning a home, you do want to think about other things that are associated with that as well, like your utilities. You likely are currently paying that right now, so it's easy to mosey on past it and ignore it. But you do want to think about how that may change. If you're currently renting a five, 100 square foot one bedroom apartment and you're looking to buy a 3,000 square foot home, then, then that cost is likely to go up and you'll want to put that in your budget. You'll want to think about your yard maintenance and pool maintenance if you're getting a pool. These are things you can easily do yourself if you don't mind doing the work, but if you don't like doing the work, then you may need to add in your budget room to pay a landscaper or a person to maintain your pool. Those can be pretty costly as well, depending on where you live and how common they are there. And lastly, you need to make the house into a home, which means you're going to have to add more furniture. And you'll want to think about how you're going to pay for that. Now, this isn't a thing that should stop you from buying a house, but you'll want to think about if you're going to buy the, the, uh, the furniture cash or finance it or just add piece by piece. If you plan on buying it cash, you'll want to make sure that after paying your down payment and closing costs and other expenses, you have enough there to buy the items you need. If you plan to finance it, you'll want to make sure there's enough room in your monthly budget to add on another bill. Or if you plan on buying it piece by piece, then it's good to kind of have a timeline of, okay, we're adding this room at this point, this room at this point, then at this point, and so on and so forth. So if you learned anything here or you just enjoyed the video and it helped you plan on how to budget or opened your eyes to new things you didn't think about during the home buying process, then hit the like button. Hit a, a subscribe button to know when other videos are dropped in the future or hit the bell if you want to know, boom, right when they come out. It helps the channel grow and it helps me grow as well. So guys, I do want to thank you all for watching. I'm Preston Williams and I'm out. Until next time. I need a house in the hills. They come with a deck and a grill. So all of my listen, we said we've been cooking up, cooking up, cooking for real. I gotta get back to the real. We gotta get back to the field. The show my people is looking up, looking up, looking up, looking up still. Said I need a house in the hills.